Here are a few tips and tricks you can use to solve the Ruby's cube faster. We will just be focusing on the bottom and middle layer as those are the easiest places to improve on. Tip number one, the white cross. So in my last video where I showed you how to solve a Ruby's cube, I showed you the method where first you do a daisy in step one and then step two is the white cross. However, you're actually able to skip solving the daisy altogether and just go straight into solving the white cross. This saves a good few seconds as you don't need to waste any time putting down the four white edges to the white center. Solving the white cross first is almost the same as solving the daisy, except you need to match the white edges with the centers. So if the white sticker is facing down like this, you can match that edge with the center like this, and then you can bring it up to the top. And if it's facing to the side, the easiest way to solve it is to turn it down so it's facing the bottom. And now we can do the same thing we did last time. So match it up with the center it goes with, then you turn it up twice to the top. If it's on the bottom and it's facing out like this, move it to the center that it needs to go with. And from here, you can move it to either the left or to the right, and then you can turn it up to the center so it matches like this. And now you can turn it to the top. If the edge is on the top and facing out like this, you can just move it twice to the bottom and you get this case again. So now you can move it under the center it goes with, then move it to the side, turn it up so it matches like this, and then turn it up to the top. Sometimes you get cases like this where if you move this down, you affect the edge already solved. So when this happens, you can just move the edge away so it stays in the bottom layer. And then you can just resolve the edge that you messed up. Now you can solve this edge as normal. So match it up to the center it goes with and then turn it up to the top. There is a second way to solve this edge, which is a bit more advanced, but it saves a lot of moves. So here you can actually move the whole cross across. <laughs> whole cross across. You can move the whole cross over so that you can put the edge in and then move the cross back. And now it's solved. So it's up to you to decide which way you prefer. When you've solved the white cross, you can turn the cube around and continue with your solve. Or you can solve the white cross on the bottom, which saves yourself from flipping the cube around. It's up to you. Tip number two, the white corners. So in my tutorial, I showed you just one method to solve the white corners. And that was to just repeat the four move algorithm until it's solved. And that algorithm is right side up, top clockwise, right side down, top anti-clockwise. Fun fact, this algorithm is actually called the sexy move. I, I don't know why. So in some cases, just repeating this algorithm is the fastest way to solve the corner. However, for other cases like this one, there are actually other ways to solve it that are faster. So when the white corner is on the top right and it's facing you, here you can do the reverse of the four move algorithm. So top clockwise, right side up, top anti-clockwise, right side down. And that will solve the corner right away. Here's another case where the corner is on the top right, but this time it's facing up. So to solve this, doing the four move algorithm three times is pretty fast, but there is a slightly faster way to do it. And that way goes right side up, top twice, right side down, and here you get this case where if you do the four move algorithm, it just solves right away. So right side up, top clockwise, right side down, top anti-clockwise. Tip number three, the middle layer. So the way I showed you how to solve the middle layer in my tutorial was pretty much the best way and there's no really good way to improve that. But I will introduce you to something called F2L and that stands for first two layers. Now this is a lot more advanced, but I will show you a quick tutorial just so you have something to play around with. So in F2L, you do the white corners and the middle layer at the same time. And to do that, you pair up a corner and edge together, and then you insert it into one of these four slots. So there are four different ways you can set up an F2L pair. The first two ways are something that might already be familiar to you. So there's just a normal pair where you insert it into the right like this. And there's also the mirror of that where you insert it into the left. The other way is when the two pieces are opposite from each other, when you're able to turn the corner up to the edge like this, and then solve it. There's also the mirror case where it's paired up like this, and then you can insert it to the left like this. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a matching corner and edge on the top layer. So this corner here, you can just take it out to the top layer using the four move algorithm. And this corner needs to go with this edge. So you can take the edge out into the top layer using the same way. And now it's time to pair up the two pieces. So in this case, you can hide the corner by turning it down like this. And now you can move the edge over. So when the corner comes back up, it creates a pair. And now you can insert it into the slot it needs to go. So in this case, it's a right hand slot. So right side up, top anti-clockwise, right side down. 
So this is another case, but this time, the tops of the two pieces are different. So now we have to turn it into an opposite side pair. So in this case, you can hide the corner again, but make sure you don't disrupt the pair that you already have solved. So you can turn the top layer to an open slot, so you can hide the corner and turn the edge over. So when you unhide the corner, it turns into an opposite side pair. This time it's on the left, so you do left side up, top anti-clockwise, left side down. So I'll show you one last case where this time the corner is facing up. Now here you can actually match the edge with the center like this. And now you face the side in which the pieces needs to go. So the pieces have red and green on it, so you face the red and green slot. And this time you can actually hide away the edge instead of the corner. So you turn the side up, match the corner with it like this, and turn it back. And that has made the pair so you can insert it. By the way, if the corner and edge are wrongly matched like this, here you should separate them by hiding the corner, putting the edge away, and then turning back the corner. And now you can solve as normal. So that was just a little introduction to F2L. Feel free to experiment with that, because the sooner you learn about it, the better, because it really speeds up your solves. So those were a few tips and tricks you should try out in your solves. I hope you found the video helpful, and if you did, subscribe if you want to see more cubing videos and tutorials. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.